different priorities at that time. I had different priorities. Wow, that's so sexy. Kasi, guys, bakit? Obviously, there are times we do get special treatment because of you guys. Hindi kami ganon. Like, you did. You did. Hindi ko naman alam na may party pala din. Naisip lang namin bumuha. Yung pala, nandito ang buong Maynila. Kaya naman pala walang traffic. Papunta dito sa airport. Kaya napapunta kami ng Buracan. We are here in Astoria, walking around, walking around, there's Ariel, I'm just uh, still here in Astoria, exploring, we decided to explore uh, Buracan, it's not that long. Ah, sige, pwede. Isang mabilisan po. Hi, guys. We're here in Boracay. We're at the story of Boracay. And look at our view. What a... Look at that. Sunset. Sunset Makamo. Ayan. Yes. So, the kids are here. Pero first time tayo mag-Boracay. At saka first time ko ang gagawin ko na apa tayo ng buong usap Tatanungin nila tayo ng mga questions that they've always wanted to ask us. And baka mamaya, kami din may mga tanong sa kanila. Ano kaya maitatanong nila sa akin? Ano kaya maitatanong namin sa kanila? Ha! Hindi na po ako. Ano ko Like I said kanina, the boys are with us. Nagbabakasyon sila sa Pilipinas ngayon kasi Christmas time. And we decided to go to Boracay. We're here now in Astoria, Boracay. Enjoying our vacation. Naisip ko we've never done a video na nag-uusap lang kaming apat, nagtatanungan about things that we've never really talked about na nakita nyo, na napanood ninyo. Usually, kumakain kami, o nag-chips kami, o kumakata si Ariel, o nag-gigitara mga bata, but never really a conversation. And I figured, I'm sure the boys have uh, a lot of questions or a few questions that they want to ask us that we've never discussed before. And we probably have our own questions for them as well. I'm Julio. I'm 23 years old. I'm Waki. I'm 24 years old. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> first, how did you meet each other? And what were your first impressions of each other? I met her, um, I was fairly new in the Philippines. That was, uh, I was doing a sh kind of auditioning for a show. It's called uh, Penthouse House Party. And we were, as a get together, we went to a club. It's called a disco phenomenon. Faces. Faces. So, uh, and I just chanced upon uh, meeting her. Because I was in the so uh, I met her there, and I thought, well, she happened to get the hand outside my But uh, I was out of my uh, comfort zone anyway, so that was never really thing. got to talk. We, so. we just met, as in literally just, we were just introduced, and then that's it. So it was just really somebody introduced us, literally. Yun lang, that's it. Yeah. What was your impression, Mom? Yeah, what was your first impression? Um, Siyempre, nakikita na ako sa dali niyo. <laughs> Doggy circuit, mm. Tapos, eh, kaya lang, we had different priorities at that time. I had different priorities at that time. You guys are so mature. <laughs> it's not maturity. That's it's okay. just, my attention was elsewhere. Wow. Yeah. So then, how did you start 
talking. Uh, so I was promoting my first album. She was also promoting her uh, <laughs> So I thought, that's when I, I, I saw her and then I, I liked her and then I asked her, Nino Ogi. I go, Ogi, uh, do you have her number? <laughs> Maybe I can call her. <laughs> and he says, let me ask her first. Oh, so I think he asked, yeah. Of course I wanted! He was my oh, crush! Wow. Eh. Oh, wow. He was my crush, I was watching his shows! Eh. But, oh but how did uh, Nino Mogi say it to you? He said, Ay, Jelly! Hiningi pala sa akin ni Ariel yung number mo. Binigay ko, ha? Parang gano'n ito pagkakasabi niya. Sounds like him. Sounds like him. That's a good impression. Nino Mogi ninyo, o oh, yan, gano'n. <laughs> Tapos oh, sabi ko, of course! I like that. I'm happier with that one. <laughs> that wasn't on the list. I don't yeah. find that. Um, okay. What is both of your pet peeves? Do you know what pet peeves is? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I'll start. I hate when people pee in the streets. You know you know what I'm saying? Okay. Sa corner, sa tabi, yung, yung umiihi. Na, and it's usually lalaki ang gumagawa nito. Wow, that's so sexy. Kasi, guys, bakit? Nakakabili ba kami nakatayo? Ayun. Naiinis ako kasi pwede namang planuhin magwiwi sa banyo ng maayos na hindi mo dinudumihan ang environment o ang mga kalsada, ang mga mga walls, ang mga puno. Well, mas acceptable pa kami minsan kung at least dun sa gubat, di ba, or something. Pero really, yung mga sa walls, yung sa mga kanal, yung sa mga... Huwag ganun. Pwede namang planuhin eh, di ba? Pwede namang pumunta sa banyo na mas maaga kung kami mga babae nagagawa namin yun. Ba't hindi magawa ng lalaki? Sushi. Yeah. Strongly. <laughs> <laughs> Oo, oh, oh, hindi ko talaga siya tayo. That was so ako. quick. I know. That was, that was, that was so intense. That's a oh FP talaga. Yeah, that's why I stopped being on walls. <laughs> 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 I'll Good. pet peeve ko naman yan. Uh, tardiness. People who are late. Kung usapan. At saka yung hindi sumasagot sa text. Texting. Yeah, that's that's biggest one. The text. Mm -hmm. Pag hindi sumasagot sa text at hindi sumasagot sa talapan. Mm -hmm. Then, with each other. With each other? She has a banyo. Uh, she has all the stuff lying all over the sink. <laughs> Brushes all over. Wala, hindi ako ganun ah. Uh, yeah, so... Sobra ang daddy niyo, hindi ako ganun. Uh, medyo OC ako, I think it's neat, right? Mm -hmm. Siya... Ay, ako naman, yung kabaliktaran, yung masyado siyang OC. <laughs> yung maiba lang yung lugar nung, nung, let's say, yung hairbrush. He cannot find it anymore. Yeah. Kaya, ano pet peeves niyo? Paras? Mom, when she sees us, her first thing is your face. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my god, your gosh. face. Oh my god, your face. You have so much pimples. But you know what? You know why it's so frustrating for me? It's because you can take care of your face. You can you can do that at least that much. I mean, para sa akin hindi optional lang hygiene. Hygiene is very important, and that is, that includes taking care of your face. Wow, what's your pet peeve? Nasa gut na ni kuya mi sa akin eh, so. Oh, okay. so wow. I'm so tolerant. <laughs> I think. The texting sometimes when we're when we're out, yeah. And sometimes I'll be like, "Hello." Oh yeah, that's that's that. I, I would say that. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I text dad, or dad texts me like, "What's going on?" And then he gives me five seconds to text, uh -oh. and then I get a call. <laughs> What's going on? Why are you text me? <laughs> why are you text me? You're gonna call me. You know why? Because I that. You guys are constantly on your phone, so you read it. And <laughs> if you're there all the time, sometimes. Oh, most of the time, you guys don't even reply right away. Especially you. Especially you. Uh, so, if somebody is always looking uh, at their phone, you don't seem to reply. Right? Fast yeah. enough. That's right. Uh, yeah. And you know that's your dad's pet peeve, right? Yeah. That's, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's then there are also sometimes we actually don't see it when we're out, so we don't see the, the, the text. text because we're doing something else. Uh, 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 or like. Sometimes we'll have basketball and we're playing for like two hours mm -hmm. in a row. Yeah. Then we come back with, oh, what's this? Hello? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> but once you, um, once you explain the one, oh, oh yeah, basketball. Yeah. Of okay. Course, of course. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> what is the one thing, or what is one thing in life you always wanted to do but have not done it yet? For me, honestly, uh, there's nothing else I need to do. 
for me. Uh, I traveled all over, all over already. I have the family I've always dreamt of. I have the family I've always dreamt of. Doesn't have to be big. It's, it could be like just a small thing. There's nothing. I mean, Sky of I can. I'd like to climb, uh, let's say, Pinare, Mount Everest, but I don't need to do it. I could travel. Travel more. Travel more. Travel more. Okay. See more places. Maybe travel more with travel. your mom this time. Just, you know, yes. Yeah, usually it's your own tour. Travel more together. Yeah. Together, the four of us. Travel more. That's yeah. all. Okay. How would you describe your childhood? Mm. It was, you know, for me it was enjoyable. It was so much fun. It, during that time, I'm a good I mean, four boys, one girl, especially the four boys, were always playing outside. We are so active because I. Wild, so yeah, it's all right. Everybody's wild, to accept, no? but my, our wild is like uh, where we go full speed and skateboard down the hill. You know, uh, wild. You know wild nila. They give me good drugs. They give me the no, But you know wild now, man, because we're just active kids. Uh, my parents, especially my dad, I mean, raised me the way I want to raise you guys. So that speaks, that speaks a lot. Talaga. Speaks Is a lot to how my dad's influences. Mine was a relatively happy childhood. Um, it's just that it's a bit different because uh, I was acting already and then Janice was like a superstar and um, syempre, all eyes were on us. I was growing up, everybody would recognize Janice and then sino yung pasle doon sa likod niya? Ako yun. Like when I met your dad, gulat na gulat siya sa buhay niya kasi bigla na lang from the average Joe, biglang Superstar, I can't believe I'm a Koreyala. Because yeah, I'm going to be a lucky one. I'm going to be a lucky one. That's true. What was your go to song when you were a teenager? I didn't have a go to song. It was just listening to. to. uh. vinyls. Vinyls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you used, you used to play guitar. I used to play guitar. So, what was the go to song that you played? Stairway to Heaven. Stairway to Heaven. Oh, there you go. I have a Janet Jackson song. I was so into Janet. I was a fan. I thought you were into Madonna. Ah, uh, si Madonna for a while lang. Si Janet Jackson talaga yung idol ko, yung pinasto niya. Ano siya? As in, nasa loob ako ng music room namin, pinapatugtog ko si Janet Jackson. Pinapractice ko yung sayaw niya. Nakandasayaw-sayaw ako doon mag-isa. Tapos kakanta-kanta ako. Ma-art talaga. I think Lola had... Did Lola have the mics already? Of there? course! So you're practicing oh, the choreo yes. with the mic? Yes! <laughs> may choreo, may mic, may ano lahat yung pinractice ko. Hey, how do you guys feel about having celebrity parents? Your honest opinion? Um, I think we grew up with it. It's always felt like second nature almost. Like me! Like this, yeah. is, this is our normal. It doesn't feel weird because it's kind of like, oh, I don't know any other way of, like... Living. Yeah. It's like when you when you grow up, you start to see others' perspectives on life, and it's kind of like... Uh, honestly, I think it's um, sometimes a, a, a blessing and a curse. Um, we're, we, my Rikui and I are, are very good private people, I, I'd like to say. Go up. I don't, yeah. I don't like to share a lot. Yeah, there's the good and bad, like... Obviously, there are times we do get special treatment because of you guys, but that also does come with people aren't always honest with us, or they they can be fake towards us, kind of thing. So we had to learn to figure out who really wanted to like who be our friend, you. yeah, yeah. Who who actually wanted you. to be our friend for us, for you. or who is just trying to get yeah. close. Get close. May ganon kayo ng issues. Sino ganon? Growing up in Ateneo was like that. No? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. But what, um, people always ask me, ask me quite a bit about this. If you guys are interested in in getting into our line of work, has it crossed your mind? Is it, a, is it an option? Uh, uh, I don't think I've ever. I don't yeah. think so. Never, it's never, never, never been a, a want. Um, and I, I don't know, I think, I think understanding the, the nature of showbiz, I don't think I'm, I would be particularly good at it. You know, I'm not going to be able to No, no, definitely no. not for me. Mm -hmm. It's not for you guys. I'm even worse with Filipino than Julio. If you're not comfortable, yeah. it's not going to yeah. work out. Next, yeah. if you're not, 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 if you're
Actually, alam mo, ang weird nga is, dito kayo lumaki, tapos hindi kayo nagtatagalog ng maayos. You know what? It's because when we were growing up at home, we only spoke English. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And because... And then, we moved to Canada, we lived with Lola and Lolo, and I started speaking more Tagalog. Oo nga, that's ba't ganun? That's really weird. It, was, it never came as easy to us, and I could never understand why until I grew up. We see you guys, what does the future hold for you guys? In 10 years, ano ka na? Ano ginagawa mo? Go walking. Realistically. Realistically. Realistically, in 10 uh, years, hopefully I'll be teaching physics at a high school, maybe. And then... Yeah, that's about it. That's, <laughs> that's the goal for 10 years. Uh, so, I guess after I finish my, uh, my school right now, I, I want to get into hopefully like cardiac rehab as a professional kinesiologist. Okay. Um, that's right now, but I don't know. Okay. Okay, next question. Okay. How would the people you grew up with describe you growing up? I think I'd be described as how you see me right now. Just the noisy one. <laughs> the noisy one. Just the out there person and the frank person, the straight up person. I, I, I think I think that's still how they would describe. Me. Maybe you should ask other people. That would be yeah. That's that's true. I wouldn't I wouldn't know. Well, uh, I don't think I've changed much from like your age. Basketball, all the sports. I mean, you still are. Up to yeah. this day, we still play against each other. We yeah. Play golf. Or yeah, but I give in. I give in. It's not like, see, yeah. but back then it's like, oh, beat your ass, man. In basketball <laughs> or anything. It was like, oh, ah, ah. Well, I want to ask you guys. Um, our moments together are far in between. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when we are together, what is it that you guys enjoy most that we do? I think. My, uh, my favorite part is about spending time with you guys. Um, usually these talks that we have. Yeah. I think so. Especially if when it happens spontaneously. spontaneously it's, right? not it's just usually after dinner and then after we just dinner, talk and then after a round of golf, that's we go for beers. That's, yeah. yeah that's, I, I enjoy that a lot. Too. I think it, it, I think that for me the thing about those talks is that we get to understand each other uh, as adults now. Mm -hmm. and, we uh, have more appreciation, I feel, during those moments that make up for the times that we're apart. Did you guys have a, a, a weird nickname growing up? So growing up in the Philippines, when I was young, apparently I was called Boyong, <laughs> because we had this, uh, my mom's uncle, his name's Cho Boyong, I think he was a mayor or someone. Growing up, I suppose they had big eyes, so they used to call me Owl. Uh, what's Owl in Tagalog? Quago. They should call me Quago. Or Mata. Mata. But I don't know how to say Mata. I think it's a good thing. So, what's your nickname? Jerry. Gagay. Hindi naman bata. Hindi naman bata. Hindi naman bata. Hindi naman bata. Okay, when I was younger, mahilig ako tumabay sa labas. Yes. Swimming. 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 Tapos, ma ma ano, I was dark. I was really dark. And they used to tease me that, ano, uh, Mga politically incorrect terms. <laughs> I used to be teased that or called that. I'd rather not say because it's not right at this time and point. Uh, ayoko makancel. Every time we have, uh, like you said, two months of the year we spend together, every time we leave each other or separate, we lagi kami ni mga bilin sa inyo. Name one, one each that really sticks out for you guys. Focus on school. Yeah. That's a big. That's the biggest one. Focus on school is a big one. Because that is why you're there, right? Well, yeah, for sure. It's. Uh, I remember number one is focus on school. Number two is take care of your love dad, Lolo, when he was still alive at the time. Um, let's take care of Lola, Lolo. We we do spend a lot of uh, time and effort considering Lola. Um, she's our uh, she's our mom mm -hmm. in Canada. She takes care of us. She feeds us. Uh, gets her bow on, she gets mad at us. <laughs> um, yeah, I think those are the two biggest ones. Yeah. For sure. What is your favorite gift from each other? Each other. Aside from our children. That's Aside from the children. Like, that's such an easy answer. <laughs> you know what? Here's the thing. Yeah. Christmas, Valentine's, anniversaries, we don't gift each other. 
we really don't. We're not, we're not um, materialistic. Uh, materialistic people. We like, we spend so much time together. People don't realize that we spend like ninety-five percent of our time together. They are actually and attached. We're, to we're working. <laughs> if the only time we're separated is when we're working. One of us is working. And I, every time my mom goes to Canada, I always tell her, "Ano, honey, pila yako pagula ka dito." Di ba na lagi nila sinasabi, you have to have time on your own, dates and everything. Pero hindi di kami na dadi nyo. Ang weird. Sabi ko sa inyo, kasi magkasama na kami yung buong araw. And we chat like this when we're together. Oh, oh. We'd be in bed and then we we talk about anything. Anything. And we discuss. But we don't need the dinner to to focus on each other because we are focused on each other. Wow. What was your wedding song? You know one song? Hindi kami ganon. You know music in your wedding? We didn't have um theme song. We did. Hindi kami ganon. We we not. Like you did, you didn't have like the. I don't remember. I don't remember. We never had a theme song. We never. Like nothing to slow dance. Nothing. Not like the first dance or anything. We're not having that. You had no first dance. We're not having that. Guys, yeah, we're not. Wow, that's crazy. We're not like that. We're not like that. We're not showy, but we are together. You guys see, when we sleep together, we hold hands. Yeah, they do. Dahil nga pag tinatano kami sa mga guesting guesting, what's your theme song? Ang hirap mag-isa, tapos magbibigay na lang ako ng kahit na ano, maisip ko na closest. Yeah. Because really, we're not like that. You we're know not. that. Yeah, I mean, it would have been nice to have had a, a big gesture like that with a ring. And, pero hindi ko siya ever hinanap. Kasi nga, alam niya namang hindi naman ako ganun. We've maintained it. I think that's the reason why we've lasted. We've never changed. And I think, never... no, I think you have. You have changed, actually. You're more, you're sweeter now. You're more demonstrative. Oh. You're more attentive to me now than when we were boyfriend and girlfriend. Sa totoo lang. Me? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think. Okay. That's, <laughs> that's the truth. You're more attentive to me now. I try. Than because, considerate yeah. to me now. Well, than when we were... I don't know why. I think you... As you spend more time together, you, and if you really care about each other, you, you begin to want to... Um, be more for each other. Be more for you know, also, the, uh, like yeah, I said, yeah. as, yeah. as you get older, malaking bagay talaga sa akin, and I always tell you this, I always look back and remember the stuff my dad used to do for my mom. I always say that. You know, yes. Okay, that's my question now. You have girlfriends of your own, or you've had, or you have... So, what do you see sa amin ng daddy nyo na you actually do to your girlfriends, for your girlfriends? I think... One thing for me is exactly what you guys have been talking about the whole this whole interview is these uh, acts of appreciation are always important, but they're not the the most important thing in a relationship. Uh, as like how to put this in words? Respect. I guess so. How do you respect or treat or treat each other aside from these special occasions? If there are hard times, are you there for them? You can't always be there just for the good times. I think the reason why your dad and I don't celebrate special occasions, this is from me and from my point of view, is because every day we give each other special attention. We focus on each other. So, hindi ko na kailangan ng anniversary or ng valentine to affirm the love for each other. That's, yeah, that's... Kasi it's, it's important that every day I try to make him feel special. Really? And I try to make you guys feel special even if it's not your birthdays. And I hope that we're able to do that for you guys. Because it's so hard that we know we're far away from each other. I think that's what it usually comes down to. Though, these these big gestures are usually affirmations of love. And if you feel, I think if you feel that the love is very affirmed, yeah, <laughs> there's, there's no other, there's no need. You don't need it. Yeah, you, you don't need. Even right? you don't need. Ah, gusto ko lang kumain sa labas. Oh my god. You know, you know, gusto ko hindi ko kaya maaffirm siya. Dapat basa gusto ko lang kumain ng kumain sa labas. Okay. Well, that was supposed to be a short question, guys, but okay. I, think, well, I think it's good to end it there. Yeah. Are we done? Yeah, I think that was good. Okay, you want to eat this? Yeah. What? What time is it? We're eating? Yeah, yeah. I don't know, we're eating a day outside. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know if you enjoyed it, but we enjoyed it. So if you didn't enjoy it, sorry. But if you enjoyed it, it's fun. It's fun. 
Pero kung meron kayong suggestions or kung meron kayong mga strong emotions, kung hindi siya maganda, eh keep it to yourself na lang. Pero kung masaya siya at meron kayo itatanong, sige, go! Anyway, thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, this is... I'm Waki. I'm Will. Are you? And I'm Jelly. Here, suggest Jelly, like and subscribe. Marami salamat! You missed an opportunity. <laughs> Why? And I'm just Jelly. Uh, <laughs> I got, guys. Cut, 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 cut. Thank you, Thank guys. Thank you, guys.